Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Morgan. Welcome. Um, today I'm going to be sharing my favorite preschool read-alouds. Um, these are not the same as our bedtime books. Our bedtime books are more story. These tend to have more of a lesson or meaning or something, but they're a little different than our like silly bedtime stories. Um, so I'm going to share these preschool read-alouds with you. Um, and if you are interested in seeing that, keep watching. So this video is a collaboration with my friend Wendy over at Plan Prep Play. She has become one of my like closest online friends she is so so sweet she has a beautiful family beautiful homeschool she is a light um seriously go check out her channel if you haven't i will link everything to find her down below um she has older kids not like older but older than my preschooler so she is going to be sharing her favorite and their favorite read alouds um so if you have older kids or will have older kids then go check out her video so without further ado let's get into our read aloud so these are in no particular order i'm just like picking them up um the first one is a quick popular quick popular is that i don't know um it is the we are the gardeners by joanna Gaines and her kids um it is one of the most beautiful books i've ever seen it's so so pretty in typical joanna Gaines fixer upper fashion um and also i would love to have like a story that featured my family like this this is so sweet to have um but it's too long of a book to be a bedtime book i i think um but this we learn all about perseverance gardening uh family commitment um and this is one of our favorite books it's such a good read it's just too long for bedtime and we'd love to keep it in our homeschool room and i'm sure if we end up doing unit studies this will definitely be in there the next one is by jan brett which is like the the mitten i think she she did the mitten and something else um sh this is mossy and it is mossy the box turtle box turtles are my favorite animals in the whole world eastern box turtles so this book already like owns a place in my heart like i mean come on um this book is absolutely gorgeous this is a story about a box turtle that moves so slow that a garden grows on her back and then she it, like look how beautiful and then a scientist takes her and puts her in a museum but she's not happy in a museum because she doesn't have any friends and they end up putting her back where she goes and falls in love with a turtle named scoop um and then they have babies but it's a really really long book <laughs> for a kid's book but it is absolutely gorgeous and it teaches about conservation um just kind of respecting respecting nature respecting the world around you and i love this book so um i'm sure we'll do a reptile study at one point because i personally love reptiles and so does my son um so jim brett mossy is a definite favorite it's probably my favorite Another one that goes along with the garden is Up in the Garden and Down in the Dirt. This I've been seeing this like all over um, different things, like different Instagram posts and things. I had never seen this before, but I'm really glad I purchased it. Um, also, I will link all these books down below. So um, this was very inexpensive for how beautiful it is. It was only $8, um, but it is a beautiful, beautiful book. It goes through one garden um, through all four seasons, so a year in the life of a garden. And it tells you, it tells the kids or students what's happening above the ground and then also what's happening below the ground for each season. And it's just such a fun, beautiful book. And I absolutely love it. My son loves this one too. So this will add with the gardener's book and um, it will definitely be, be used well. And I love at the end, it talks about the actual animals and like the like grasshoppers, gar garter snakes and or weaver spiders it talks about the the real things that are in the book which is really cool especially if you have older kids so love this book this one's also fun because the culture coop we have chickens um this is my chickens lay eggs and you can tell this one's getting kind of beat up this is one we read often and it's about this family that ends up getting ready for chickens 
and take you how to take care of their chickens and all like all these chicken fun facts and this one is so fun um it's my son loves this he loves his chickens um so this is really good if you want to learn about chickens or just if you're doing a farm study or anything like that and it teaches responsibility and all about chickens and it starts from the life cycle of a chicken to when they lay an egg so when they are an egg to when they lay an egg so pretty interesting book for little ones this is another fun one that I want to get. There's a whole series of these, and this one is Are You a Bee? Um, this one's pretty inexpensive. Yeah, eight dollars. Um, it's a nature book. It says this colorful first nature book introduces preschoolers to the world of the bee, and it's really cute because it says it's like, Are you a bee? Because this is what happened, and you go through the life cycle of a bee and how they produce honey, and then just all about bees, but it's written in a story. It's all these facts about bees, but it's written in a story format, which is really good for preschoolers. So they also have ant, bee, beetle, butterfly, centipede, dragonfly, grasshopper, ladybug, snail, and spider, and I'm gonna get all of them because for our bug study, that would be absolutely perfect because these are so, so fun, and they're beautiful books. So I'm like, love these books, but they're a little too factual to be like a story for bedtime, so these are our, these stay in our homeschool room. The next one, I'm hoping I can find a link to it because this is so, so old. This was mine when I was a kid. Um, it's Puma Range and it's the Smithsonian Wild Heritage Collection. And I remember it came in like a little box and it had a little, uh, a stuffed Puma. And I absolutely love this. There's all kinds of these. Maybe I can still find them. I doubt it. But this is a beautiful story about the life of a Puma and or a mountain lion. And it's just, it's so pretty. It's uh, like like with the bee book it's a lot of facts but it's um told in a story format and it's just it's a fun book this is always one of my favorite books always one of my little sister's favorite books and now my son reads it so love this book and it is from a long time ago so the last one on my list is pretty special um this was a gift actually mossy the box turtle was a gift to my son when he was born for my sister and then my sister got this one for my daughter when she was born and this is called luna and me the true story of a girl who lived in a tree to save a forest um it is the true story about julia butterfly hill she lived in a tree for 738 days um so oh a portion of this author's proceeds from this book will be donated to sanctuary forest that's good i didn't know that um, but this little girl actually climbed a tree. They were trying to cut a redwood down and she climbed the tree and she lived in a tree <laughs> for 738 days. And this is the true story but told in a beautiful way. And the book is like absolutely beautiful. It's so fun to read the way they have the words written. Um, like sometimes the pages have almost no words and then sometimes you have to turn the book and it's like this one you have to turn the book and it's just it's so fun um he loves reading this one and this is like one of our keepsake books that i know we will have for a very long time and this is another one like authors know all about juna butterfly hill and what a fun name julia butterfly hill um so this one all about conservation perseverance respecting the environment all super fun stuff so that's another favorite so thank you for watching if you made it this far. Um, I hope you enjoyed some of our read alouds. If you have any other read alouds for preschoolers that you love, let me know in the comments and be sure to check out my friend Wendy's channel. She's incredible. I can't wait to watch her video and thank you for watching. Bye.